Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet. Um, I know I normally set up my videos in advance so that you get a notification. However, that is not the case today. Um, I wasn't actually even sure if or when I was going to be going on. Hold on. I need to adjust my um, screen a little, a little bit. I don't know if that works or not. But anyway, um, sorry, it's wobbly, but as you know, when I do it during the day in front of my bed, my window, I'm on my bed, and so it can get a little wobbly. So I'm going to try not to um, move around too, too much. But Miley is laying right, be right behind me. Her back is against the my rear end <laughs> or my lower back. Um, so she's kind of pushing me every so often when she moves. Um, so... Uh, sorry for the wobbling or the earthquakes, so to speak. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Adele. Welcome. How are you guys? So I'm going to wait until we have a few more people. Normally, like I said, there are notifications that go out. Well, sometimes, but at least there's a possibility of a notification when I set this up in advance, but I didn't set it up in advance. I just messaged a bunch of people that I am on. So hopefully people will start seeing that I'm on. Oh, crap. Granny D's on right now, isn't she? Son of a gun. Is she? Isn't she? Ugh. Well, I don't see that she's on. Is Granny D on right now? Um, yeah, I didn't get a notification for her. Son of a gun. Oh, well, I guess people are going to have to watch it on replay, but I didn't get a notification. That's so weird. Um, hey, Andrea, welcome. How are you? i waiting for the next virtual fiber festival person to come on. <laughs> Got it. I just saw her. She barely started. So weird. Okay. I don't have, I didn't get a notification for her and I forgot that she goes on at three, but this is the only time I was going to be able to go on today and wasn't sure if I was going to even be able to have a chance tomorrow. So I guess I'll either have to share viewers or not have many here and hopefully they'll watch it on replay, which I hope because there's going to be a lot of yarn being unboxed. So Nobody's going to want to really miss it. Um, I think total right now I have like a hundred and I don't, well, actually I don't even know what's in. I'm just guesstimating based on the size of, oh my God, this Hobium package. Oh my Lord, have mercy. Sorry for the earthquake again. Um, that there's probably at least a hundred skeins total. I mean, I'm guessing based on orders I've had in the past. Plus my long dog yarn and my shandy yarn. So um, weird. Didn't get a notification from Grandy either. Yeah, I didn't get one for her. I always get hers. Always get hers. Well, I actually, I've noticed I get them sometimes six hours late. Really? Um, but I don't know. I didn't either. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. It's huge. I know. It's craziness. And I redid my handy dandy list. Um, can't say that it's any more legible, but it is because it was on a solid surface versus on my hand. So here's hoping I can read it all. Although I don't need it for you guys, but um, yeah, I know. Hey, Mayor, welcome. So before that, though, there's five people in here, four likes. If you guys can hit the like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, but before that, I kind of want to touch on something regarding my other channel. And kind of want to get your advice. Now, I was hoping there were going to be more people here. But people can leave it in the comment section below this video when it goes to replay. And I feel like my computer is like constantly moving even when I'm talking. And I don't understand that because that's not typically the case. So I hope it's not like really, really, really crazy moving on you guys. Because that would be annoying, I would think. Um, I'm going to try to push it up against my headboard a little bit more. Nope. Am I here? What just happened? Am I here? Can somebody tell me if I'm here? Because it just paused for like 10 seconds. Mm. Like everything just like stopped. Okay, good. Um, sorry, my ear itch is itching. Okay, so anyway. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, regarding my other channel. I knew going in that there was at least one other Natalie's Kitchen. Here's my situation. And until yesterday when I was on Krista's Live, I didn't even consider this part of it. But I am considering changing my name. 
a little. And I had discussed this particular name with my mom before I started my channel because I wanted to give her credits and she was going to be part of it off screen, but she was going to be part of it. She said, don't worry about it. I really like the play on words from Natalie's closet to Natalie's kitchen. But, and honestly, if YouTube hadn't changed the way they do things as far as now, before, when you were in a live chat or even watched a replay live chat and regular comments on regular videos, you could click on the person's name or channel name and it would take you to their channel and you can subscribe, you can do whatever you want. That is no longer the case when it comes to live chats or live chat replays. You cannot click on the name and you cannot be taken to the other, to that channel. I think that's stupid. If it's a, if they're worried about grow channels, grow channels put links in their comments. I mean, in their chats, they don't, they don't. So it, it's not going to change anything. But my problem is, yeah, I know. Me too, Mayor. My problem is, and I realized this after Krista's live yesterday, is that I had five people contact me. Karen commented on my video in closet announcing my other channel and four other people contacted me either by text message or email letting me know that they saw me in Krista's chat they went to go search Natalie's kitchen and it came up with two other people two or three other people that weren't me so they went back came to Natalie's closet went to that video went to that link went to my channel and subscribed well first of all some people aren't willing to do all that to get to a channel. Second of all, that shouldn't have to happen. Now, I what's we and this isn't a pat on my back. I have more subscribers on my Natalie's Kitchen than two of the other Natalie's Kitchens out there. But yet, my name, my channel doesn't come up when you type in Natalie's Kitchen into YouTube. Maybe it's like a couple pages down, but on the main page, when you scroll down, my channel is not on there. Now, okay. In all fairness, I didn't check that today. I checked it late, late, late. Well, actually, early, early, early this morning. But there are three primary. Okay, I highly doubt somebody that doesn't know me. I don't typically say, oh, you know what? I wonder if there's a Catherine's Kitchen on YouTube and type it in. You don't do that. It's either you've heard of it and you want to look it up or whatever. But you don't just out of the blue decide to look up somebody's name, you know? So that's a really small percentage of people that could possibly be doing that without word of mouth. So there's three primary ways people are going to find my channel and sign up. Hey, Teresa, welcome. The three ways are this. The primary way is that me and all of you are going to send either the link directly to my channel or we'll share a video and people will follow that, get to my channel, subscribe. I think that's probably going to be the biggest way people are going to find my channel, assuming you guys are sharing it. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't assume that. But anyway, the second way is that people are going to be looking for a particular recipe or ingredients in a recipe. And once I build up my channel a bit, hopefully I'll have that. My channel will come up as an option. They'll find me. They'll subscribe if they want. Miley, stop. They'll subscribe. And there we go. I think those are the two primary ways people are going. My channel is going to grow and people are going to find me. The third way, hey, Tammy, welcome. The third way, and this is where the issue can come up. I now know it. So if I talk to somebody about my channel, I will let them know. It doesn't come up when you actually type in my name. So go to my Natalie's closet, find the video, or it'll be in my about. I'm going to put it in the about section on this, on this channel. Find the link, go to my channel. But anybody else that talks about my channel, let's say you're out and about and somebody says, oh, my God, I'm looking for a Ukrainian recipe. Da, 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 da. Oh, my God, I know the perfect person now. OK, again, I'm assuming you're going to talk about my channel, but I know the perfect person. Natalie, go to Natalie's kitchen. You don't have a way to send them a link. You're talking to them. They're going to go. They're going to try to search it. They don't know me. So they don't know that the first two or three Natalie's kitchens that come up aren't me. They may not know that I have another channel to go check it out. So now they're going to be searching for something and not know that it's not me. Now, granted, if the other channels are like Italian and Indian and, 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 and Mexican and they're looking for Ukrainian and you told them my, my channel is the one, okay, that's a different story. 
But if they're simply looking for Natalie's kitchen and they don't know me, they don't know that it's not me. Now, these other channels may have gotten some subscribers since I started it when people are thinking they're looking for me, like from Krista's live. Some of those people didn't know me, so they didn't know that it wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's going to be the smallest percentage of people is the word of mouth because you can also explain that. Well, she has a different channel. Go to that channel and then find the link. Again, people may not want to do that, but um, that's where my dilemma is. And that's why I may consider changing the name to, and I'll tell you that in a second. Uh, I just found your link and subscribe. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate that. Um, <sighs> I just lost my train of thought. Um, hey, Miranda, welcome. I didn't even see you there. Sorry about that. How are you? Um, I'm good. Thanks. How about you? Where are you from? That would be awful, Natalie. Yeah, I know. So I can either just not care because I know I'm going to like blow YouTube out of the water with my Natalie's kitchen <laughs> channel. I'm still kidding. Um, and just not care. And the people that should be there are going to be there type of a thing. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm exact, you know, I'm playing, I'm not that type of person, but I can either not care and just stick with Natalie's kitchen, which it was funny because Granny D was in Krista's live and she goes, oh, so Natalie's closet is in the kitchen. So is that the pantry? <laughs> and Catherine was joking around saying, is is channel number three going to be Natalie's bedroom? No, that one's not happening ever. <laughs> it was funny, but that's not happening ever. So I, I don't like Natalie's pantry. I don't know why, but it, to me, when I hear that, it's like, nails on a chalkboard. I don't know why it's just a personal thing. So that's not happening. But the other channel that I was, <laughs> yeah, I know she's being antsy today. Normally when she's on the bed with me, she doesn't mind. Um, so the other channel name, and this is the one that I talked to my, or told my mom about when I, before I actually launched that channel was, um, Natalie in mom's kitchen. But my mom's like, okay, yes, that is the case right now. It is my kitchen. And that is where I'm going to be doing anything is in her kitchen. But she's like, that may not always be the case. So then I was thinking Natalie and mom's kitchen. Now, Tammy had a valid point. Tammy said that, you know, when people think of great recipes, they think of moms, grandmas, aunts that are passing down family recipes so that may actually benefit me more because Natalie and mom's kitchen, they're thinking, okay, it's not just this young chick that may not have access to recipes. So you give me your feedback. And if you're watching this on replay and you have ideas, thoughts, comments, put it in the comment section down below. Um, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button <laughs> to this channel. Um, as well as the notification bell and the like button and the share and everything else. Um, anyway, so what do you guys think? Um, and they can, hey, hey, um, your royal highness pinkness, wait, your royal highness pinkness brat Kelly. Hello, your pink bratness. <laughs> Hi, sweetness, Adele. <laughs> Natalie's in the dog park. I said it. I almost said it. I didn't say the whole word. You got me. Miley would like that one. Yeah, she would like that one. Um, Okay, so everybody's saying hello. So anyway, you guys, if you guys have thoughts, opinions, I mean, honestly, like I said, the two biggest ways people are going to find my channel is by link because people are sharing my channel and or I'm sharing my channel or or videos and or they're looking up for they're looking up a recipe and or ingredients and my channel comes up. The, I, I think all three of these are pretty equal in percentages, possibly, but the one I'm that is kind of a concern is word of mouth and people that don't know me and don't know that I have another channel they can find to find the right channel and stuff like that. Do I change the name or do I keep it and just say, screw it. And whatever happens happens. Cause I do want it to be successful. Obviously. Um, I like Natalie and mom's kitchen. You should make dog. I know I was actually thinking about it. I may do a recipe for, for dogs. But you didn't get me to say the word. <laughs> Natalie's Kitchen, Ukrainian Family Recipes. Okay, that's a mouthful. <laughs> um, and, and I have checked. There is no Natalie in Mom's Kitchen. So that's a bonus. 
Um, by the way, if anyone is interested, there is a virtual fiber festival on Facebook today and tomorrow, not to take you away from here, just to let people know who don't. Okay, cool. Thank you, Andrea. Miley, stop. Stop. Enough already. Um, okay. Does anybody feel the same way when a dog is incessantly licking in the same spot and all you're hearing is, does that drive you up a wall? Like if they're doing it for like 10 minutes, it, it drives me up a wall. I mean, I know she, but she's also going to make the spot furless if she keeps doing it. But I'm also giving you guys an earthquake every time I stop her. So maybe I got to stop that. Anyway, so that is the thing about my channel, my other channel. Hi, pink princess Brat Kelly. <laughs> you're you're right about the public perception. That's why a lot of businesses have and sons because it gives the feeling of stability. Yeah, exactly. So Tammy definitely had a valid point with that. Um, and it's it was something that made me seriously consider changing it. Um you just made me elbow you in the face. Stop it. Uh, yes, Minnie's been doing that to her paws. My Murphy has a furless back paw. Aw. Yeah, I mean, it drives me nuts because they're hurting themselves. Well, not hurting themselves, but they're... Okay, Miley, you're itching, and there's a gnat in here. Uh, yeah, Obi can be liking and biting his paw for ages. Yeah, it's... Oh, my God. Sorry, earthquake. She she's just not happy right now. Oh. And she just told you. No! Dude, enough. Why are you hiding from your public? Come here. Get up. See hi my peeps. See I'm being I'm being stubborn because I was outside earlier and it was hot. What are you doing? Oh, you smell those. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. See, I shouldn't have given her the first one. Now she knows they're here. Good girl. So beautiful, a pretty girl. I know she does. But that's all she's going to want now. And that's probably what she's going to do. Typically, when she's on the bed with me, she's totally fine because she's actually on the bed with me versus me sitting off the bed and talking to nobody. Oh, crap. No, there's nothing out there. She thought she saw something. And she may go ballistic and bark. There's nothing out there. No, ma'am, you're not going over there. Anyway, um... Catherine, look. Classy, sassy, and a bit smart assy. <laughs> so totally me. It's soda. I know she is. Holy crap, Miley, you're causing major earthquakes here. Stop it. Anyway, this is this is the whoa, the cup that um Catherine surprised me with when I got an Amazon package and I had no idea who it was from. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. No, nope, I should put it on this side because it's it's lopsided this way. Oopsie. Oopsie. Candy avalanche. Woohoo! Sorry, just trying to... All right, so I think maybe I'll go ahead and change the name. Love the cup. Yeah, me too. She had it on one of her, she did one of her videos. And I was like, oh my God, I love it. I want it. I didn't literally mean it. I didn't literally mean for her to go buy it and send it to me. But she did. I love it. <laughs> Hold on. I got to adjust the... The lid. All right. So you might have to change it. Yeah, that's one thing. Will you stop causing such an earthquake? Stop it. Just relax. Lay down. Dude, what is wrong with you today? No. No. No, ma'am. 
<laughs> Little shit. Yours is prettier than mine. I don't think it is. What are you talking about? I don't think mine's prettier than yours. It's in one of her thumbnails or one of her videos. Hey, Sandra, welcome. How are you? I think changing the name will give you peace of mind. Dude, lay down or get off the bed. One or the other. Jeez, oh, Pete. She was saying pretty please. Yeah, it didn't work. Um, I don't, yeah, I guess it would. I mean, I really love the idea of Natalie's kitchen, but I think it needs, I think, I think it's just going to help. Mine is shiny. Oh, okay. I get it from that perspective, but I broke my favorite cup yesterday. It was a travel cup with cork on the outside and porcelain inside. Ooh, that sounds nice, but I'm sorry you broke it. My mom's funny. I had asked her a question earlier, and I don't know if she maybe fell asleep or whatever, but it was like four, well, now it was like an hour ago. Um, and what? Oh, we were talking about ordering a pizza for dinner, possibly. So neither one of us has to do anything. So I'm like, I can barely like move. I'm lucky if I can walk because we were doing some gardening and stuff. And I was very seriously considering not doing the live, but I needed to get into this yarn. So that wasn't an option. But, oh, my God sitting here right now is worse than it typically is sitting uncomfortably on the bed. But, uh, so I had asked her if we were still doing it. Cause she sent me a picture and she goes, oh, I, I really have a taste for pepperoni pizza. And I said, I thought we were ordering pizza for dinner. And then I asked her if she had eaten anything for lunch. And she said, yeah. And then she goes, um, I'll check to see if you're doing a live. If I don't get a response, <laughs> I didn't respond. Well, I now responded to her, but she knows me. Oh, too well. Hi, back to everyone. Oh, Mary, it's always such a bummer when you break your favorite cup. Oh, I know. I mean, it's like literally almost, well, okay, it's not the end of the world, but sometimes it feels like it at that moment. I tried to find another cup, but no luck. Aw. Oh, my God. She won't stop licking. Hi, Mom. Stop. Dude, enough. You're seriously going to cause, like, it's weird. The bed is wet, but her paws are not wet. I can't tell where she's looking. Oh, now I see it. Stop. Stop it, okay? Although, if she's doing that, she's not bugging me. So I guess I should just let her keep doing that, except she's causing an earthquake. Mare broke her cup. Um, she said it was her favorite cup. It was a travel cup with cork on the outside and porcelain inside. And she broke it or it broke yesterday. Hi, your pinkness. I have procrastinated. I'm finishing my Mothman since December Christmas crochet and it is due Tuesday. <laughs> I work the best under pressure. So I, uh, yeah, if there is a deadline, you're, you can bet your bottom dollar. I'm going to be pretty freaking close to the deadline before I actually even start it sometimes. I also spilled coffee down my arm. Fortunately, I used a lot of milk, so it wasn't too hot. Oh, no, Mare. I'm glad you didn't burn yourself. Hey, Reggie, welcome. How are you? Reggie said she was going to pop on for a minute. She's already ready to go to bed. But um, So anyway, we talked about the channel thing, and now she's getting antsy again. Her tail's starting to wag really hard against me. And yeah, so this may prove to be an interesting day. I'm not going to be on here forever in a day today because I really want to, I have to put my feet, my legs up, or I have to ice my back and my knees and have dinner and relax and finish watching the 10th season of this that's on TV. My son yelled at me about finishing his blanket. Ah. <laughs> Kelly, you're, you, I did tell you it went out yesterday, right? Especially when you're just dying for that drink and they're both on the floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, Jay Hook, okay, hey, Reggie. Okay, hey, Reggie, no more sleep for you this week in Andrea. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> okay, where's the yarn? Okay, now I'm going to procrastinate because Kelly, okay, she didn't yell, so I guess she wasn't being impatient or being a brat, but... So you are, yeah, no, 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 I'm opening the yarn packages, but after the yarn, I'm not going to like 
be here for three hours. Um, yeah, no, I've had this one and this one since like Monday of last week. The Hobium just came in yesterday and it was supposed to be here Thursday, but it didn't ship to my PO box. So I had to change the address and then, yeah, long story. But anyway, I hate Adele, Catherine Kelly and all you lovelies. Hi, right, Catherine. I'm sorry about the cup there. Um, let's make sure that I don't cut through anything here. Okay. I, okay. Shandy or long dog yarn. Those are the options right now. Hobie on his last because that bag is just too freaking big right now. Um, but there is a lot of yarn in that big bag. I know there is. <laughs> I just have arms and legs, but it's freehand working on claws now. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this is, oh, for crying out loud, the Hobie. Um, there's a hole right there. But this is the hobium. Oh, oh my God. It's so freaking heavy. Sorry for the earthquake, guys. Seriously. Um. <laughs> I know, right? So right now, which one do I open? Long dog yarn or shandy? You tell me. First one gets it. Just waiting. Nobody? Okay. Yeehee, I'm so excited about this. This is going to be the Lilith Shawl by Shandy of Fiber uh, Expression Fiber Arts. Oops. Ooh! Almost cut the yarn. I mean almost cut the bag. I mean almost cut the yarn bag versus the shipping bag. Ooh. I was so excited. Doggy, the one on the right. My right's here. I don't have any yarn on the right. All right, let's see. Woohoo! I'm so excited. I love that they give a coupon with at each order for your next order. But the reason I don't share it, I would share it. I really would. But the reason I don't share it is because it's only good one time. From what I understand. If I find out differently, then I will share the coupon code in the event somebody is interested. But it's 10% off your next order of $20 or more. Um, there's a squeal. The one on the left then. <laughs> They're all on the left. All right, <clears throat> so this is the Merino DK. Okay, was this for the Lilith? Yeah, okay, so that one was a DK weight, but there was a pattern that, oh, which one was it? It's the um, Scorpion pattern at with Shandy that I really want to do, and she uses a lace weight that she quadruples. So I'm like, okay, instead of just quadrupling a lace weight, I'm just going to get a DK, right? Yeah, because lace, fingering, sport, DK. So I'm just going to get a DK. This is not for that. This is for the Lilith because the Lilith has two different colors. This, these are op really different colors, not just like kind of darker with lighter, but um, stay dry. Hey, Natalie and everyone in the chat. Hey, Sherry, welcome. How are you? We can't see. Hold it up. I know you can't see. I haven't held it up yet. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is the Merino DK. It's, they're um, 100% merino, superwash merino, 250 yards. One, this colorway is the jacaranda. I love their label too, because you know I love dogs and anything dog. So this is the jacaranda. Looks pretty true to color. Uh, here it looks pretty true to color to me. And I like their yarns. Most of their yarns have the speckles in it. I like that. So it's a darker purple in the speckles and it's, it's squishy soft squishy I know <laughs> good I'm glad to hear that Sherry um so yeah and I love see I love their label huh isn't that cute a dog loving yarn <laughs> I love it 
This colorway is Sassanach in the Highlands. S-A-S-S-E-N-A-C-H in the Highlands. That's that's the name of it. And that's the colorway. Uh, it looks more, not limey green, but like, it looks brighter than it show. It looks olive in the in my camera, but I'm doing these together. So according to the pattern, she used three. These are 250 yards. Hers were 230 yards, I think, a piece. So and she used three of the main color and then one of these colors. So. This should be enough, according to what I read in the pattern. But um, you all know I'm a tease. So, yeah, she's a naughty naked teen. <laughs> huh, love them both. That will be gorgeous. Yes, beautiful. I like that color combo. I love the color combination. Yeah, I asked my mom. I said, because it was an orange one. And, uh, and I had it in my basket. I had these five in the basket. I don't know. Anyway, um, and I was talking to them, asking if they have like an affiliate program or anything like that. And uh, I, yeah, anyway, so I think this will be pretty. I can't remember how it was in the bag. I wanted to put it back so that, oh well. So that's what, I thought 1,250 yards. Um, I always love the reaction of um, of the owner of my local yarn shop because when I tell her a shawl with 1,250 yards, she's like, are you kidding me? Because they all knit at my local yarn shop and they teach how to knit and everything. And she's like, oh, my God, that's so much yarn for a, for a shawl. And I'm like, well, crocheting eats up yarn. I mean, it really does, but. Thank you. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh. I got to adjust my, my position here. Cause I'm like really cramping up here. Ooh, that big box or big bag almost fell on me. <laughs> All right. So now Shandy. Awesome combo. See you later. Go bye Sandra. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate the support. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and healthy. Ugh, I always end up opening her bags wrong, and then they. Okay, what is going on here? Ooh, that was a close one. Really close one. Hi, Natalie. I'll back over in a bit. Hey, Denisha. Okay, no problem. It does eat yarn, but you get a thicker fabric. Yeah, yeah. Have a great weekend. Okie dokie. Ooh. <laughs> when I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. Lao Tzu. I always love that she puts in these uh, um, positive. Not inspiration. You know what I'm talking about, right? Hope you do. Uh, hi, Denisha. Hi, everyone. I'm here. Hey, Brenda. Welcome. I'm here but can't talk much because my internet service here is terrible. All I get is buffering and can't watch anything on YouTube. Oh, no, Brenda. That sucks, but I'm glad you're here. I hope you enjoy the yarn. Hi, Denisha. Bye, Sandra. Hey, Denisha. Appreciate you being Kelly. Oh, see you Sunday. <sighs> okay. Mm. Yes, Miranda. Thank you. Positive affirmation. Anybody that gets her emails, I mean, she's always so positive and always, I mean, I just love it. I, I love it. It's awesome. Okay, getting to the yarn. This is incredible. I have one of her lace weights, but this one I'm going to be doing a review on. It's her Wisp Lace. I just can't. Yes, Sunday. Hi, Brenda. Okay. Um, the colorway is botanical. It's 75% soup. Fuzzy went up right up my nose. 75% uh, superwash merino wool. 
What? Oh, hold on a second. My mom is asking me a question. Um, anyway, okay, so colorway is botanical. 75% superwash merino wool, 15% cashmere, 10% silk. Okay, mom. Um, it's 840 yards each, so there's 1,680 yards total. Hook is a B to E, which that's typically the hook size on her fingering weight too. So I whatever hand wash only lay flat to dry. Check it out. Waha! That is so awesome. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. My, Miley, Miley, dude. Plus she's doing it against me, so I'm moving. The bed's moving. Everything's moving all at once. Um, what am I, what I miss? A crochet shawl means you are done in reasonable time versus knitting one means a huge commitment time. Yeah, that's true too, Mir. Totally agree, Mir. I love you all and miss talking with you all. Same here, Brenda. I was wondering where you were. I hadn't seen you in a while. I have some of her wisp lace. It's so gorgeous. Isn't it, Sherry? I love it. The other one that I have is a little bit darker than I typically get, but, or would have, or would, would get, but hey. Um, gorgeous, beautiful. Yeah, I mean, this is like absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning. I mean, all we all know that with hand dyed yarns, you get different. I mean, it could be the same, it could be the same dye lot, but it's gonna, you know, it can come out differently. But wowza. I mean, look at this pink and I mean this green. Oh my gosh, I am in love. Woo, look at that nice pretty green in there. <laughs> I'm so excited and soft. That's what you get with cashmere and silk. <laughs> um, very pretty colors, but short color change. So just two to three stitches per color. Well, depending on how it's dyed, but yeah. Um, great colors. Wonder how it works up. Well, we'll find out. I don't know. We'll see. This is because I was talking to her about the um, about the uh, the scorpion. I just don't know if you're only using two hanks. Sorry, guys, I gotta adjust because my leg is like so cramped up right now. Um, if you're using lace weight and you only have two hanks that you're working with, unless okay, you cake it, of course. But when you quadruple it, are you using the inside and outside of each cake and, and working it that way to quadruple it? Because otherwise, I mean, I don't see how else you can do it. Um, but I was talking to her about the scorpion, and I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's a small shawl. I have it right here. She's laying upside down right here, spread eagle right in front of my face. I mean, seriously, dude. Um, oh yeah, I was going to show you the different, did I say stingray? I said scorpion. You know what? I said scorpion to somebody else. It's the stingray. That's why I kind of hesitated when I said it at first, because I couldn't remember if it was a stingray or a scorpion. It's a stingray. Um, it is a small shawl. It's a shawlette. This is it. That's the whole size of it. Um, but it's beautiful. And let me see if I can find a different, a better picture of it. I mean, you know how small she is and that's how small it is. So honestly, I, yeah, I mean, but wearing it that way also looks really cute and it's a perfect shape for that. Excuse me, my goodness gracious. Um, that's cute too. She's just so cute, you know? I mean, oh, she doesn't make me sick, but she makes me sick. How cute and small she is. Uh, Miley Centerfold. <laughs> totally. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so that's how I would do it. Yeah, those animals are hard to tell. <laughs> I know, aren't they? <laughs> um, hey, Becca, welcome. How are you? So anyway... I don't know. I'm interested to see. Or I could double it. I could double it. It'll be a fingering weight. And double the size of the shawl. Possibly. 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. No shame in Miley's game. <laughs> I know. There's no shame. I mean, seriously. She's on public TV. I mean, or not public TV, but she's on the World Wide Web. I mean, anyway, remember how I was telling you? Remember um, when I was going through all the yarns, those guys down there, and we were going through Shandy's yarns? And um, rain is giving me brain fog, but otherwise doing lovely. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I know about the rain, though. Well, now it's sunny, but it was raining a couple days ago. But, um, we were going through the confetti yarn and the rainbow hues of the mini yarns. Um, you can pair it with a neutral. That's true, but I don't have a neutral lace. Or I have to see if I have another matching yarn base in a neutral different size, maybe. I don't know. Uh, she wants a date. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way to get it, I guess. Mayor Jinx. Um, oh, I missed yours, Mayor. <laughs> what about using a neutral with one strand? Yeah, I can do that. Um, but with the multi, with the rainbow minis and the confetti, I'm going, I, that's where I'm also going to do the Lilith, which I have the, the yarn from Long Dog Yarn, Long Dog Yarn that I just opened is going to be the Lilith also, but, um, uh-oh, where'd it go? No, I got rid of it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Phew. I'm going to do the green and purple, or the purple and green, in the Lilith, which is this one, and you see how the colors change right there. Sorry, I haven't filed my nails, although all the acrylic's off now. Um, but I'm thinking about doing this in the with the confetti and the mini, the rainbow minis. Um, I disappeared. Just yell her, yell her. Online dating isn't a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her, yeah, a neutral sport weight. Yeah, I'm going to check and see, but I have to make sure that it's at least somewhat similar in yarn base, so, or fiber base. But I think I have something of hers that may be the same yarn base, but, yeah, a sport weight. I don't know, I'll see. Anyway, I'm thinking this was the other option that I was considering. I mean, this is the one. Okay, this is what the back looks like. So it would be literally a rainbow with the confetti in between. Or, or I was thinking this one. However, I don't know that I have, I have enough yarn yardage wise based on how much they used in it. But the way it works out as far as the spacing, I would not be able to do any one of the minis in as large of a section as this one. This was the other one because I really want it on an angled shawl, but not none of my minis would be able to get that many rows in. So unless I did three color minis and then go confetti, three color mini, different minis, and then confetti, or not do as many rows, just do like three rows. Because at this width, I'm guessing three rows is going to be max that I'll be able to get out of any one mini. Because it's 1,200 and what is it, 1,225, I think, yards total. And I think there's seven of them. There's only 175 yards per mini. So I really don't think at that width that I'd be able to get more than three rows out of any one mini at this point of the shawl. So I think I may stick with the Lilith because I think that one may actually end up being more fun. Hit the thumbs up if you haven't yet. Thank you very much, Kelly. I appreciate that. But she is so tiny. I know she is. I know. So I may just double the lace and double the size of the shawl so that it can fit someone that's not a, as thin as she is because she's really tiny. I think, seriously, I think serendipity's hips may be a little bit wider 
but I don't, I don't even think that, but she's tiny. So I think if I just double it instead of quadruple it, that it would work out on the, um, what is it? A stingray? <laughs> I was going to say scorpion again, the stingray. So we'll see with that. I don't know yet. Um, you can put it with some of her alpaca silk lace in a solid color. My problem is, is I don't have any solid colors. <laughs> if you guys have noticed, I love either tonal yarns or multicolor or yeah, somehow I very rarely go with solid colors. Although do I, I do have a couple of her um, pearlescent fingering in a solid color, but that is going for the graceful and the um, the sweet pea, I think it is. But I will check. But that's a good idea, Sherry. I like that. The alpaca silk, because I do have the alpaca. I have a couple of alpaca silks. So I just have to see if I have them in solid. Yes, red. Extra yarn for sure. I think it was called the crocodile. <laughs> Very funny. She's making fun of me. A tonal woodwork. Um, and I do have one of hers, but again, it's the pearlescent fingering. I don't think I have an alpaca silk of hers in a tonal, but I'll see if I have anything else. I, I don't have anything. And now that I think of it, I don't think I have anything else in natural fibers that would be a tonal that would work. I don't know. I have to check it out. We'll see. Hey, Donna, welcome. How are you? Hello, everyone. Hi, sweetie. Donna. Hi, Donna. Hey, sweet. Okay, everybody's saying hello. All right, so I really got to stretch before I even consider taking the whole BM out. Holy crap. Oh, my gosh. I wish I could stretch in this way, but I have my pillow and, the, and a couple other things right here, and it won't let me do it. Sorry, I'm back. My granddaughter called me. That's okay, Tammy. Welcome back. Um, you'll have to check the replay because I just showed the long dog yarn and Shandy's yarns. Uh, and now I have to show the bag again because there are several people in here that I think weren't here before. But... Um, and for anybody who didn't see this, love my mug. Classy, sassy, and a bit smart assy. Anybody that knows me knows that's me. Uh, okay, Tammy. So anyway, here she is again, spread eagle. You guys can't see it. You just see her front, but she's all spread eagle right against my leg. Anyway. Oh, my God. I'm not I'm not exaggerating when I say how heavy this is. Oh my gosh. This is how big this package is. I mean look at my hand and yeah. This is but there's a hole right there. They taped they tried to tape over, but it whoa, sorry for the earthquake. It it broke right through it. Why are you not sitting on a normal chair in front of a window? Because I can't fit a chair in front of this window and my other um my desk is I have no room. <laughs> Granddaughter calls are the best calls. I would imagine. Love that cup. Fun. Thank you. Catherine got it for me. Hi, sweet Sherry K. I'm waiting on yarn from Norway. It should be here in about three weeks. They told me that it's normal 21 days, but with the mail running behind, it will be longer. Yeah, I get that. She's comfy with her peeps. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, seriously. Um. All right. So... Let's see. I have to figure out the way to get in here. I mean, it is so taped up, crisscross taped and everything. They did a number on it in where, whatever customs it went through. But I find it funny that places that ship quickly still, this one, the, who was it that someone said, I can't remember who ordered from where, but I think it was like a three-day order or, some, or shipping. And they actually got it. I think it was like four days. But, um, okay, where did my scissors go? Seriously. Oh, they're underneath my leg. Oh, my goodness, what a package. <laughs> I know. Um, I got to find a way to get into it, though, without, like, cutting into the yarn. 
which may prove to be interesting. Sorry for the crinkling. Woo! Woo! Almost cut again. Seriously. I feel like I'm doing like, okay, I'm not even going to say that because that's just. Okay. I need to make a little bit more room to get into it. Almost. I know Donna and she has been teasing us by not opening the big one. <laughs> if they are until they get super goofy and nonsense coil after 10 minutes of looking at the ceiling. I said, okay, Grandma's got to go now. <laughs> hey, Nancy, welcome. How are you? Shipping yarn that way is so stupid. I know it is. It's really stupid. Um, let me move this, except I need it on the surface that... Oh, now the computer, now everything is lopsided. Sorry. So this is a sneak peek of the yarny goodness. Oh, for crying out loud. All right. I need a place to put it so that I can actually... Oh, has she, Mary? That's her sassiness. <laughs> All right. What is this one? This one is Etrophil hand knitting yarns designed in Italy. Etrophil jeans. Well, I'll take it out of the bag. This is nice. I'm trying to think. Something something just came to mind on how it feels. I mean, it it's soft. It's not like silk soft, but it's it is nice. Uh, all right. Really? How the heck am I supposed to read that? Hook size two to four and a half a millimeter. The cost of virtual yarn therapy. 55% <laughs> cotton, 45% acrylic. They're 50 gram balls. That's a really pretty, it's like a mint green. On my camera, I mean, on my, on the screen, it's coming up like a, like kind of a gross green, but it's like a mint green. It's really pretty. And it is, I mean, for what it is, it's actually soft. I would say this is a, I'm going to say a sport, maybe. It doesn't say on here anywhere that I can see, but I think it's a sport weight, but it's really pretty. Hi, Dusty. I saw your bag on Sabrina's channel. Nice if she has another column going into everything happened in my life so I could not crochet the bag. What? If she has another column going into everything happened in my life so I could not crochet the bag. Noni May Way is my mom. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was your mom. Like, she's your biological mom? I didn't know that. All right, so, oh, man, the bag just broke. So now it's all going to fly out of here. All right, so, oh, there's more jeans. <laughs> I'm so excited. All kinds of fun goodness in here. Cal, what about a cal? I just wish they sold them in normal size balls. What can you make with 50 grams? Well, that's why I get the, that's why it's always good to do the five or the six or the 10 packs that they have because then you can make it, I mean, you can buy them individually. You could buy as many balls as you need, 
Um, like you could buy five or six or two or whatever, or you can get the pack, which always ends up being less expensive per ball as a general rule. Um, we're almost at, no, she's not Natalie. What? Adopted mom. Kelly, why don't you ask Noni? Sabrina's cow, not cow. Oh, okay, got it. How the heck does she hold her arm like that? LOL. Yeah, I know, I know. She's silly. I didn't write that. Whatever came up as Natalie's closet, I didn't write that. You guys saw my hands. They've been here. Mom, are you on the computer at home in the house? Okay. If my mom is watching my live from the computer in the house, it would make sense because I'm logged on as me. Okay. That freaked me out for a second. I saw it and I'm like, okay, I'm not going to react because what if it's a troll and that's just really weird. But then Whew. Okay. Cause I was thinking for a second, I'm like, wait a minute. Okay. So my mom, anything that comes up Natalie's closet will be my mom, which is fine, but it's not me. I don't strike a pose. Exactly. Let me look at her. I mean, seriously, she's like, okay, I'm just going to pose for my peeps. <laughs> um, wow. Weird. Are you hack? No, it's my mom. She's on the computer in the house and then the computer on the house on the computer, in the house, I am signed into my account. So um, let me ask, go, Mom, my Larissa, Mom strikes, LOL. I just noticed that it's coming from you. Sorry about that. No, that's fine. It was just weird because it, it highlights my name. When I, if I were to post something, it highlights my name in bright yellow. And I'm like, uh, my hands are busy with yarn. And it wasn't like something trollish. So it's like, this is really kind of weird, but um, okay. Anyway, here's the yellow. Look at that. Beautiful yellow. This is in the jeans, just like the green. Love it. Just, oh, dang, you're early. I know, Natalie, sorry about that. I told your mom I was going live, but I know this is stupid o'clock for her, so... Um, I mean, it's one o'clock for you, not stupid o'clock, but I know for her, it's stupid o'clock. All right. What else is in here? Ooh, <laughs> rock and roll. This is like, um, Isis, uh, that takes talking to yourself to a whole new level. I know really. Hi, nice Natalie. Hi forever. Froggy, AKA Natalie. Hey HD. Welcome. How are you? Rock and roll is ice yarns. Um, oh my God. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's ice yarns. Um, holy crap. Hi, Natalie, again, I'll be good and stay in my seat. <laughs> That's fine, Denisha. Um, what is, you guys know this one. Rockstar. This is like ice yarns rockstar. Uh, it's their gazelle or gazelle. Ga um, I don't know if it's gazelle, gazelle. I, I don't know how it's pronounced, but HD moves so quickly. Adele, I'm crocheting a butterfly. Doily, frogging it. Hi, frogging HD. Rexar. Yes, thank you, Denisha. Uh, it's 21% acrylic, 20% polyamide, 9% lana merino. Um, made in Turkey. Three to four millimeter crochet hook. I think this one, I think the Rockstar is a little bit less fuzzy. This one has quite a bit of a halo. I don't know if you can see it, but I think the Rockstar is a, a little less fuzzy. She's right there, Teresa. Hey, HD. Yeah, yeah Denny, I am participating every lives. <laughs> oh, no, Nancy. Hi, Denny. Hey, Denny. Um, me and Denisha are making our rounds. That's cool. 
Hi, Frog Natalie. How is the blanket from hell? <laughs> Hi, sweet tea. Long time no see. Bye, Natalie. I have to go have a nice weekend. Okay, you too, Nancy. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, is it Gazal? I always say Gazal. Is that how you pronounce it? Or who knows? But this one doesn't, the one, Rockstar seems to be maybe a little bit softer. Maybe that's it. I don't know. It's a little bit different, but I do like it. Is it chain spun? Um, hi, Denny. Hey, sweet tea. Um, yeah, it looks like it, I think. I don't know if you can see. Sorry for my soft hand. Uh, soft. <laughs> my soft hands. My dry hands. They certainly are not soft, which is not working well with this with this particular yarn. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, man, I'm cramping up here. Hi, Nancy. Good luck on your doily. So, gazelle. Okay. Um, what I miss? What I miss? Bye, Adele. Have a nice weekend. Hey, Catherine, it's in time. Out for having a nasty attitude. I showed it was boss. Oh, my God, that's too funny. The... Yard looks beautiful. I'm, I'm thinking you're meaning yarn, nah, although I did work on the yard too, but <laughs> have you been here? How do you know? No, I'm just kidding. That's nice. Hi, by Nancy. Sorry, I keep knocking into the computer. Right you are, Natalie. Don't take its crap. <laughs> Wait, what? Tammy's here? Or are you talking Twisted Stitches, Tammy? I don't think Tammy's here. Okay. So let's see what is next. I've had some of this stuff. I'll take more. Wow. All right. So there's a bunch of colors in the Lamia Silky. Mom did a project using Rockstar and Rock and Roll. You can't tell a difference. Maybe it's been a while since I used the Rockstar. Uh, hi, Teresa. Hey, sweet tea. Yes, tea yes, Tammy. Okay. Uh, so the Lamia Silky. I love the Lamia Silky personally. It's their 100 gram balls or skeins. Um, it says it's a number two. Honestly, I think it's more of a fingering personally. Uh, two to two and a half meter millimeter hook, 100% acrylic microfiber made in Turkey, which stands to reason. I'll pull out all the colors. Although then I'm opening all the bags, but that's okay. I'm going to open it a different way. Give me a second. Okay, that was not smart. So not smart. What the heck? Use your brain. But then I'm not going to worry about putting it back in so that it's not crinkling and stuff like crazy for you guys. But... Son of a biscuit eater. Really? Really? All right. This is frustrating me. Give me a second. Got to show you the colors because these colors are amazing, I, I think. Ooh. -oh. Oh, okay. I don't know where that color came from, but I love the sheen in it. I have a bunch of the silky. Um, I know it was part of their Amagurumi sale, I think. Um, but you've got a really pretty gray, the black, which is all coming undone. I love the fuchsia. The fuchsia is gorgeous. Um... Natalie, what's that picture on your wall, or is that a TV? This is a TV. Hi, Tammy. Pretty mine. Oh, nice sheen. Yes. This blue is absolutely amazing. I love this blue. And then this orange is really nice. This one feels like it's not as full. That's really weird. Feels not as full, like, at all. 
Hi, Andrea. Hi, Donna. Hi, Adele. All right. So I do kind of need to put it back in because otherwise it's going to be all over. Now that I've just opened all the bags. So now I'm going to have them rolling all around. But you can't see it through the plastic. I'm sorry, but you can't see it through the plastic. And if this was something I was, like, going to be saving for a giveaway, maybe I would do that. But, I mean, you really can't see it. Can you see it as well? I mean, really as well in there? I don't think so. So I'm sticking to my way. It's my way or the highway. It's my house, right? Except now I'm swimming in, in yarn. Not a bad thing. Totally not a bad thing. But I don't know where to put it because there's, like, not even a dent in this bag. I, I swear. Um, Hi, Princess Pink Kelly. Hi, Denisha. Hi again, Denny. All right. So what is this? Ooh, I've never had this before. Tenna. It's Madame Tri Tricot, um, Paris. Open by an, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 100 grams, 186 yards. Oh, by the way, the Silky's come in a three-pack. The Rock whatever the rock and roll comes in a 10 pack this is 50 percent egyptian cotton and 50 percent polyester uh i don't know what the colorway is 0402 is the color number I'm going to say this is a fingering weight. Well, it's a thick fingering or a, a thin sport. But this is really pretty. Look at that. And it's got like a sheen to it. This is beautiful. And it's kind of silky. It's dense, but it's kind of silky. This is really pretty. I like this. This comes in 245. This is actually a really heavy, heavy little bag. But, I mean, look at that. Is that not pretty? I think that's gorgeous. Never worked with this one, so that's going to be interesting. Isn't there a natural in there that would look nice with the EFA? I don't know. I have to check it out. I love swimming in yarn. <laughs> I know, me too. I'd rather lie in yarn than swim, but I'll take it. Totally. I love that one. Hint, hint. <laughs> You're funny, Mom. Hi, Natalie and everyone. Hey, Wanda, welcome. How are you? Yeah, this one is beautiful. And it's orange, but it, it's not like a orange orange. It's like almost like a burnt orange, like a, a – do you know what I mean? Um, Mad Laura would love that. Yeah. But this is really pretty. I can't wait to work with this. I've never worked with it before. And it's 50%, what did I say, Egyptian cotton and 50% polyester? Is that what I said? This one, the writing for some reason is hard to read the way they have it. But, hey, I'll take it. What? Good. And you, good, thank you. I want to burn Sienna. Yeah, maybe that's it. Hi, Catherine. See, she doesn't share even her with mom. I did not. I, I will share with my mom. I've shared with you, Kelly. Don't even give me that. Pumpkin spice color. Yeah, may, yeah. Hi, Crooked A. I love that color. Me too. Hi, Crooked A. Hi. Okay. Oh, my gosh. What is this? Holy crap. Look at this. There's 10 of them. I've never worked with this either. Leda. Leda? Leda? L-E-D-A. I know Kelly's going to say mine. Hi, Donna and all my yarny peeps. <laughs> That's not a big enough hole. Okay. With dry hands, this doesn't work well, but 100% acrylic, 100 grams, 330 meters. Color is 522. 
I'm going to say this is like um, Super Saver. It might be a little smidge softer than Super Saver, but not by much. But it's a really pretty. It's like a hot pink. It's showing up light pink, lighter pink on my screen, but it's a hot pink. And this came in a bag of 10. Two, four, five. Yeah. Uh, Marissa, Kelly is acting up. <laughs> Kelly is probably squealing. I know. That belongs to me. I told you. I didn't say the M word. <laughs> All right. Let's see. You guys see her? Looking all pitifully cute. Boy. Okay, that made a dent in the bag because that was like a big portion of it. Oh, more extra filled jeans. Okay, yeah. Uh. What am I going to do with Kelly, Denisha? <laughs> Me? Nah. -uh. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm on the phone and I'm crocheting. So sorry, can't say hi to each of you, but just know I'm telling everyone hi. No problem, Karen. Thank you so much for being here and doing everything else. That's awesome. Hi, you're an addict. Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. All right. So you guys want to see the actual pink? So the pink, green, and yellow would be kind of kind of cool they don't have a yeah the color is 049 it's like a fuchsia I'm just trying there's when I feel this it reminds me of something not not suede suede isn't the right word like a maybe a faux suede I don't know it's hard for me to describe what it is I mean it's it's not it's not rough and by any means, but it's like, I don't know. And it doesn't look like it would split either, which is, which is good, but it'll be interesting to see how it works up. You guys see her? She's so, she's so cute. <laughs> she really is. Um, Yes, 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 autocorrect, er, Denisha. Me, Mom, I was trying to get Natalie to share and make you something with the one hinted. <laughs> and, and she thinks that I'm not going to. Like, I'm trying to be not nice. So, whatever. <laughs> I need to plug in my phone, so just listening while it charges. Okay, no problem, Mayor. Maybe, like, velvet, but velvet has more plush to it like a like true velvet um like not bounce but like i don't know it's really hard for me to describe what that feels like you said very funny mom i was being sarcastic kelly i'll twist her arm i promise <laughs> yes she will okay there's only one ball of this um uh, it's the lamia merino it's 100 percent wool it says it's a two yeah, I guess, it, yeah, that's pretty true. Two to two and a half millimeter hook, 50 grams, 191 yards. Color is L058. To me, this isn't like a super wash that I'm used to that would be like a softer one. This has a little bit of a scratch to it, um, but it's not too bad. I don't know that this would be something I'd want to regularly work with for, for a wool, but it's not bad. It's definitely a wearable. Um, it's not, it's not like scratchy. Like you feel a lot, you know, some wools, um, but it's a pretty color. It's supposed, I think it's supposed to be fusion or maybe it's supposed to be red. I don't know. It looks like pinkish red. Oh, red. Love it. Okay. So it's coming up red. So yeah. But it, it kind of, it, yeah, I guess it would be more, it is more red than it is. Okay, it's red. All right, what else do we got in here? Woohoo, bamboo, yay! I love bamboo. Oh, 
That's Tina. Hey, Mom, do you want black and orange? Just saying. Because, wapa, I got the black too. Woohoo! Isn't that pretty? So, nope, wrong orange. Oh, man, I cut that bag instead of using a little sticky part. Wapa! Oh, right. I love it. Catherine loves the red. Yes. It looked scarlet red on my side. Okay. Awesome sauce, isn't it? Oh, my God. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And this would be soft because this is like silky. <laughs> love it. And have not worked with those before. And I'm such a dork having cut this bag. I mean, seriously, people. All right, so this is bamboo. I love their bamboo. If you have not worked with their bamboo, oh, my God, it's beautiful. Except it's so freaking tiny. The balls are so the balls are so tiny. Yeah, Halloween. Um, and they're furry. They're furry balls. They're tiny furry balls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know my mom is in here. She knows I'm an adult. But look at how tiny these balls are. <laughs> I do that at the mailbox. When I go to my PO box and there's something in it, that's how I squeal. That's why people stop and look at me. They're like, what's wrong? Well, I've had that. people ask me what's wrong. But I'm like, nothing's wrong. It's an excited squeal. What are you talking about? But... Look at the bamboo. Hee hee. Okay, they don't go together, but the black, the orange, this is a really light, like ballerina pink. But they're, the bamboo is so soft. I mean, like, oh my gosh, not like butter, but soft. You're making me giggle. <laughs> That's good, Sherry. No comment. <laughs> This is definitely fingering weight. We're not going there. Oh, God, I can't separate it. Okay, there we go. I would say it's definitely a fingering weight. But, I mean, these are like little tiny. They're tiny, tiny. But they're 50 grams. Um, 115 meters or 125 yards. They say this is a number three. They say this is a DK. I don't think so. Um, and a two and a half to three millimeter hook. But these are so soft, so, so soft. Hey, Granny D, welcome. I am so sorry I was on when you were on. I totally forgot, and it was the only time I was going to be able to get on. Sorry. Hey, Nat, I missed some of y'all today on my live at 3. Maybe you can make it tomorrow. We'd love to see Nat there, too. I am so sorry, Granny D. I started mine, and I was like, oh, crap, Granny D's on, isn't she? And I'm so sorry. Uh, hey, Kelly and everyone was – Granny D was – out building a greenhouse. Ooh, I want a greenhouse. Soft and heavy, small, soft and heavy. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, tiny, LOL. Hey, Tammy, welcome. They're, seriously, I mean, they're tiny. Here's the tip of my finger right there. Tiny. I mean, they're tiny. It's so tiny, but um, so soft. I love their bamboo. Well, I love bamboo. I, I love bamboo regardless. And putting them back in the freaking bag makes them fall apart. They do split, though. It, it does split. Anyway. I got to put this away because otherwise it's going to, like, roll off the bed and go somewhere. And then it's going to be full of fur. And then I'm not going to be able to use it. And... Uh, wait, what? I don't get upset about something. I know you don't. I just, I felt bad. Sorry, D, I'll be there tomorrow. I haven't really been on this week. Mm, tiny and soft, ID. Uh, sorry, I had to respond. 
It's okay, Kelly. I know you haven't been feeling well. Hi, sweet, hey, sweet Donna. All right. Let's put the tiny balls away. I don't know where to put them, but they're not going to all fall out. I mean, seriously. They, like, just, just fit into the bag. Literally. Like, squeezed in. Soft, tiny balls. All right. I was there, but by the time I was going to say hi, there was a lot of peeps in there. You know me. I have to say hi to everybody. Technically, you both came on at the same time. I know. We did. I felt bad. But I didn't get a notification, Granny D. Normal, lately, um, I still haven't gotten a notification. Lately, I've been getting... Uh, notifications like three or four hours after you've gone live. I'm like, really? What the hell? I know, you know, I'll look at the time and I'm like, she's not live right now. What are you talking about? And then I'm like, oh, it's whatever. Hey, Don, everyone, I missed. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Hold on, hold on, hold the phone. Oh, she thought, I can't say that because then she alerts and, and thinks like there's something wrong and she has to, you know, like she missed something. Oh, and she was sleeping so nicely too. All right. So, oh, I don't have a doggy bag. <laughs> a doggy bag. Get it? I have their foxes, but not the doggy bag. So Hobium Yarns, all you need is love because they don't think about us crocheters, but hey. Um, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Actually, they said that they're probably going to watch this live, this unboxing, but, um, and then the two pom-pom makers, whatever those are called, and <clears throat> two stickers, hashtag love hobium. They're both hashtag love hobium. One has yarn and one has a llama. Llama, llama. I didn't get one either, not even from you, Natalie. Well, with mine, I normally set up in advance. Oh, man. See, one of the balls fell out, and now it's all full of fur. Like, literally all full of fur. Oh, well. With me, normally I set it up in advance, so hopefully you get it like a half hour in advance. Today I just hopped on. But you're right. Oh, you're right. Granny D, you don't you don't schedule, right? You just hop on, right? I don't know, but that's sad that you didn't get one for me either yet. I'm getting the same thing. I'm not getting notifications until next day or later. And if I'm busy, it'll be too late. So I let run run and replay. Yeah, I know it sucks. I was just perusing long dog yarns. Oh my god, gorgeous. I know, aren't they? I love them. Hi D, how are you? I just checked and I don't have anything for D either. I know we can't go by YouTube notifications. They are wrong or late or just non-existent. That's why I started going live on a regular schedule and I've told folks to set alarms. Yeah, that works. I didn't get one either. My live schedule is posted. I normally always get, I used to always get one for you D right before you went live. Always, regularly. Got it. The last few days, it's been a couple hours late, if at all. Um, I'm having trouble with notifications, too. I get notifications for the yarn sales, but can't get the yarn. I love the yarns you have, Natalie. Um, thank you, Tammy. I just happened to see Natalie had a red dot. What? What do you mean I had a red dot? Oh, <laughs> for live. No, I have a regular schedule that I stick to. Setting alarms is the best thing to do. Yeah, I know, D. I I used to get Kelly's halfway through or towards the end. See, I get Kelly's typically right before she goes live. Normally I get a notification as you go on, Granny D, not today. Hey, Tammy. Yeah, exactly. I normally get it right when you guys start the live is when I typically get it. But And then they they also put a coupon in for the next purchase, but I know for a fact theirs are only good one time. So I'm sorry, but I'm not sharing it. Sorry. Wait a minute. This is expired. I know I remember reading something that they were extending it, but this was expired like March 31st. Really? Don't think so. Uh, BF only got the notification of my vlog on Friday. Oh, wow. 
That's why setting alarms is best. I label the alarms with whose live it is, and I just set it and repeat for whatever daytime. Yeah, that is smart, D. I haven't been getting anyone's notifications, even though I hit the bell. I get a million notifications a day. For the most part, they seem to be right on cue for regular videos that are posted. For lives, it seems to be different, but it also depends on the niche. I Fiber arts, I seem to get it late, either right as it happens or late, but other ones I'll get on time. So I don't understand. Like techie ones, I get on time or early. Um, I'm trying to think of who else, but they don't do live. So I don't know. I really don't understand. And it's very frustrating. Um, hi, Granny D. Anyone? Anyway, it's okay. Hey, Danny. Um, okay, so that's that. Whew, I've never done this one either. It's Lauren Wool Simley Fifth. Is that what that says? It comes in a pack of 10. This is scratchy. You actually see, you actually see the fur. It's not just halo, it's fur. Simly Tiff Tick. 71% acrylic, 24% wool, 5% metallic. Um. I don't see length or anything like that. 50 grams. Uh, 255 meters. I can't imagine there's 255 meters in here. So I don't think that's what that is. But this looks like it's a fingering to me. But you see the metallic in there, which is nice. But this is scratchy. This, I would say, is scratchy. I don't know that I even want it as a wearable of any kind. Me, personally, but you all know I'm obsessed with soft. So my notifications are filled with random suggestions, and I don't know why. I get suggestions for my own videos. I'm like, really? Thank you for giving me suggestions for my own videos. I mean, whatever. I just woke up when I got a text from Natalie, so I came on and started coffee. Didn't pay attention to what time it was. Oh, okay, Kelly. Sorry I woke you up. Wool and metallic both are scratchy. Yeah, I know. Hit the like button if you haven't yet. Thank you, Kelly. Um, but yeah, this is, I mean, it's not too scratchy, but it's definitely scratchier than I'm accustomed to working with. But the metallic is pretty. It's like an iridescent, but it's not, it looks like a piece of plastic. It looks like, you know, um, like those like confetti strands and stuff. That's what it looks like. It doesn't look metallic. But, I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty. Just kind of scratchy. You see her? It would be awesome for coasters or decorations. Oh, yeah, that's true. I love bling. Maybe it'll soften when washed. Could be. D just got your notification. Did you? I wonder if I got it. Nope, not yet. <laughs> Tammy, I just got the response you gave me. Um, I didn't read it, though, yet. Oh, my gosh, I can barely move right now. Oh, here's another silky that's like a light orange. So what I get? I got blue, orange, fuchsia, gray, black, and now like this, like almost like creamsicle or dreamsicle. This is really pretty, but I love the sheen, and it's so fun. I like it. I, to, I like working with this because, I mean, it's a fingering weight, but it's just nice and soft. And that's a pretty color. And I don't know how I'm going to get out of my bed. There's too much stuff here. Be right back. My dog, Roxy, needs to go out real quick. Okay, no problem, Sherry. That is so you. <laughs> Woohoo! These are pretty. These are the last three. Sorry for the crinkling. Ooh, these are pretty. 
Lamia Diamond. I love Lamia Diamond also. Uh, the Silky to me is softer than the, than the Diamond, and Diamond is thicker. But I enjoy working with it. Mom, you're doing delivery, right? Huh. This is weird. These seem, these don't seem as soft as the ones I have. Interesting. Soft and shiny. It's soft, but it's not like, it's not super soft. But this is the Lamia Diamond, soft and shiny, low pilling, 100, 100 grams, 225, I'm sorry, 229 meters, three come to a bag, 100% acrylic microfiber. They say it's a worsted weight. I don't think so. I think it's a thick DK. Well, I guess it could be a light worsted. The color is L003, made in Turkey. But these are the three colors. So mint green, lavender, and the mustard yellow. Or not mustard yellow. It's a yellow. But I think these two, I think I'd I think this would look nice together. I mean that would too, but I think this personally, I think that would be good. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I'm glad I knew it was her, not me, because I would have, again, been like, uh, who's talking? <laughs> Which one is yours, Kelly? All three of them? Yeah, these are not as soft as I remember them. Interesting. I want, they almost look like they could, no, I guess it won't split. But I really like them a lot. And with 229 meters, I mean, there's plenty here to do something with, even if it's just one color each. I mean, even if you just use the one color together. What is the fiber? It's, it's oh, I thought I said, I'm sorry. 70% acrylic, 30% microfiber. I'm sorry, I thought I said that. Nope. I would think that the microfiber would have made it like, like softer than it is. And it's low pilling, which pilling, non-pilling are normally like really soft. So I don't get it, but it is really pretty though. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not, I'm not into shiny. The colors are pretty. This one's not shiny. These aren't really shiny. This one, these are, the silky are shiny. And the silky is so, I love working with the silky. Excuse me. So that is it. That that's I'm like surrounded with, with yarn. Not a bad thing at all whatsoever. But that was fun. Totally, totally, totally fun. Now the trick is to get all of this back into the bag so that it's not falling over and Find a spot for it because I don't have any more empty bins. I don't even think I have a box big enough to fit all of it. So this will be interesting. You might. I wasn't listening properly. No, I don't think I did. It would make a great ripple blanket. Oh, that's true. Kelly, you're a princess. They wear bling all the time. <laughs> Kelly, you don't like shiny. Be right back. We'll be watching. We can't comment. Okay, no problem, Adele. I'm not going to be on much, much longer, though. But, um... If I'm not, I'll see you soon, Adele. Thank you for being here. But uh, I love bling, different from shiny. Yes and no. <laughs> so can anybody guess what that is? No, because it's it's obvious to me because I know what it is. But can anybody guess what's on TV? Oh, wait, I did. It was like two, five. Hmm, Kelly, hmm. <laughs> so anyway, I th this was fun for me. 
I'm hoping you guys enjoyed it too. Sheeny then Brad. <laughs> I'm not I'm not arguing it. I'm not arguing it. Daddy's arguing it. Kinda sorta. King Kong. <laughs> no. Look at me. I'm all shiny and hot. No, not King Kong. That was a fun unpacking unboxing. I loved it. Love, love, loved it. I'm with Denny. River fishing? No, not river fishing. I'm with Denny. Walking dead in Florida after opening the beaches. It's actually walking dead. <laughs> yeah, it is isn't it? here. It's the walking dead. Kelly got it. Did you know it was actually The Walking Dead, or were you just being sarcastic that it's Walking Dead in Florida after opening the beaches? <laughs> Ooh, I almost got the coupon code wet. Or I thought I did. I mean, it's not wet, but I thought there was, like, I spilt something on the bottom. But anyway, hey, too delicious. You just stay away from all this yarny goodness. What? <laughs> Is she here? No. Yes, I guess The Walking Dead. I don't watch it. Mom does. Oh, okay. Because... Those are walkers and military guys back there with guns. And uh, Chopper. This is seriously gun. This is the part that I never able to get back. Oh, man. See, and because I opened all the bags, the yarn is falling out. Oh, well. Oh, well. Where's that big bag? No, let's not do that one. What do you want, monkey? What do you want? You want to say hi to your peeps? Huh? Here. Say, hi, my peeps. See my little fat belly? I'm getting a little fat belly over here. It waddles. Waddle, waddle. Kelly, you don't like Unforgettable or Landscape? Hi, Miley. I haven't used them yet. Nice. Nat. <laughs> She's got to put in the nice Nat. I mean, I understand because to differentiate between us, but seriously, I think I can fit into this bag. Okay, I can't, but this is not going to be fun because all the balls keep falling out. Dude. I had to stand it up because all the balls are falling out. And now I just made a bigger mess in there. Sheesh. Oik, 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 oik. What now? Oh, Miley Cutie, I want to. <laughs> She's checking out the pink yarn. I know. Tell Naughty Mom to take you to the. <laughs> Of course she does. I'm an angel. Ha! I don't think so. You take after your mom. That's what she said. <laughs> hey, Crystal. Welcome. How are you? You missed the unboxing. You got to come back and check it out. Okay, my friend. About to sign off in like 10 minutes. Is she here yet? She's not here yet. What? Oh, okay. Uh, now she's back to licking. Hey, Crystal, I'm good. Thanks. Good. Glad to hear that. 
and then then has runaway power. <laughs> Seriously, the bag is like, oh my gosh, the bag is like, um, I mean, this is craziness, and that's why I don't like to to open the bags, but I do because I want to see them. Hey, Leanne, welcome. How are you? What's the stupid o'clock time? So <laughs> they just gone six thirty ish in the a.m. Hi, but seriously, hello. I can't help that it's 6.30 in the morning for you, brat. Maybe you're going to have to zip the whole yard and then place in a big garbage bag labeled, yeah. Hi, Twisted Stitches. Hey, Leanne. Hello, Kelly. Okay, Nat, I need to get busy. Been lazy. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, Tammy, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And um, I will see you soon. Hopefully, we can get together soon after all this craziness. But... Um, Stay safe and healthy. Have a great rest of your weekend. I'll talk to you soon, my friend. Love, hugs, and prayers to you. Hi, Leanne. They're picking on me. And what else is new? We need to pick on you. Oh, my God. She won't stop licking. She's driving me up a wall. Oh, my gosh. Did you guys see all of that plastic separate and, like, fly everywhere except the garbage can? Uh, <laughs> raspberry them kelly <laughs> yeah i know hugs hugs back at you bye tammy have a great day okay stop dude enough enough what are you doing with the one eye huh what are you doing with the one eye you crazy little doggy natalie go bug your mom tell tammy she needs to come on here man kelly doesn't like shiny balls <laughs> Hello, Adele by Tammy Miley. Don't start. You're just jealous of her. You wish you could. <laughs> Bye, Twisted Stitches. Enjoy your day. Bye, Tammy. Have a good weekend. Hey, crazy dog. Hey, crazy dog. Come here. You got to say hi. Oh, my gosh. Say hi to your peeps. Say hi, peeps. Hi, my peeps. Hi, my peepers. Hi, my peeper peepers. So anyway, the Adeline is behind me, as you can see. I am in the middle of the third row of the four-row repeat before I switch to the third hank, which, yes, I haven't worked on it much since last time. And then with that third hank, I'm going to add four more rows, and then I think I'm going to switch to the fifth hank, which I think is going to be brighter, and do the um, border. I think that will be big enough at that point, but we'll see. Natalie, maybe you can ask again about your other channel. Okay, I don't like sheeny balls. <laughs> oh, she is such a pretty girl. Thank you, Catherine. See, thank you, Aunt Catherine. Huh? Come here. See, thank you, Aunt Catherine. Um, I think I'm going to change the name because I think, like Catherine said, it's going to give me peace of mind. I really wanted to stay in Natalie's kitchen. I mean, I really not want. I really like the idea of it staying Natalie's kitchen because the play on words off of Natalie's closet, which, you know, as it gets, as more people know about it, it'll just be fun that way. But I really think because the chance, if somebody realizes Natalie and mom's something, if they put Natalie and mom's kitchen, you'll see it right away. Um, if you do Natalie and mom's and hit enter, it would be something that would ultimately come up. Versus Natalie's Kitchen right now. You know what? I'm going to pull it up and see if I'm on there now because I wasn't as of yes, last early this morning. Um, my mom puts a 50 50 white, white vinegar in a bottle and puts on her dog's paws, helps them, helps them with looking. Oh, well, that's good to know. She sure is, Catherine. I think Kelly needs to not be fussy when it comes to balls. Just saying, <laughs> Kelly, I'm going to send you some silky sheeny balls and make you love. <laughs> I want it in the kitchen, lol. I know, I know. Then a couple have actually said that, but um, I guess I could just do N and N kitchen, and then anybody that knows of me will know why. But I won't be attracting all the crazies. Um, hey, hey, forever froggy, froggy Natalie. Um, but let me check and see. Uh. Um, sorry, I wanted to read uh, Tammy's comment to my comment on her video, but um, 
Let me see. I'm going to type in Natalie's Kitchen and see what happens as of now. Oh, Natalie's Kitchen. See, Natasha's Kitchen keeps coming up. She has 1.09 million subscribers. Um, she's the first one that comes up when you do Natalie's Kitchen. Uh, and I am still not coming up. But the weird thing is, is now Laura in the kitchen is the oh. next one. One of my video. Oh, there I am finally. Oh, I have 49 subscribers. I had 46 as of this morning. Um, okay, so my video is in the list. And I am actually the first Natalie's Kitchen that comes up. The other Natalie's Kitchens aren't coming up. Now the other ones are. <laughs> Woohoo! So N Natasha's kitchen comes up first with a bunch of her videos. Then it goes to Laura in the kitchen. Then it's me. And then down further, there's three other Natalie's kitchens. It's not by viewers, though, because there's 14, 9, and then 16. Huh. You guys, type in that. If you have another device that you can type into, um, right up. All right, how about in the kitchen with Natalie and mom? Now, no, that's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gone a few days and y'all go crazy and pick on the prince. <laughs> how is this any different than any other day? It's that we miss you, Kelly. Natalie and mom's Ukrainian kitchen. I was thinking about the Ukrainian part, but there's not, a, it's not all, it's very much not gonna be all Ukrainian and not all Ukrainian for sure for a while. Um, awesome, Natalie. Why? What? Anyway, if you have another device and you can look it up on the computer, I've noticed it comes up differently than on my phone. Also, if you have another device while you're here, can you look up Natalie's kitchen in YouTube, not on Google, but on YouTube and see what order comes in? What the crazy thing was, and I know I just started it. What was it? Thursday? Thursday, I think. I just started it then, and I understood it could take a day for it to show up on YouTube. But even as of last, early, early, early this morning, I already had more subscribers than any of the other Natalie's kitchens. And that's not that's that's not a gloat thing. I'm just making a statement. I had more subscribers than the other Natalie's kitchens, and yet they were all like way on top and I was like nowhere to be found. And I'm like, okay, I don't understand how that works. So I'm like, maybe it takes longer for it to register as a, I, I, I don't know. Clearly it did because now I'm at least on there, but um, it's that we, okay. Uh, after Natasha and this live, you're at the bottom. Huh? I made number 50. What? I'm what am I missing? I'm misunderstanding you, I think. What after Natasha in this live, you're at the bottom. Huh? Awesome, Kelly. Um so anyway, you know what? I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Because it's really, my my concern is that third way people are going to find me, and that's word of mouth. I know to tell people to come to my channel now, just in case, my closet channel, just in case to find me. Um, but anybody that's word of mouth that doesn't know me doesn't know who they're looking for. So when I scrolled down, I had to hit the arrow to open more, and you were at the bottom of that. Kelly is the 50th subscriber. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> Yay, Kelly, you came up on mine after Natasha. Okay, so here is mine. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for this, but I just typed in Natalie's Kitchen. Natasha's right there, and then there's all these videos. And then Lauren in the kitchen comes up. And then there's my video. And then there's me. And then further down are three other Natalie's Kitchens. So I wonder, but like I said, on my phone, it comes up differently than it does on my computer. So that's why, yeah, if I hit the little arrows, it opens up all of Natasha's videos. Um, 
But thank you, Kelly. I appreciate you looking at that. Uh, you came up on mine after Natasha. Okay, well, that's awesome. Take, took a chance you'd still be here. Hi, Nana. Hey, Sandy, welcome. How are you? You'll have to come back and watch the unboxings. But how are you, Miss Sandy? It's too early to be whisked, I guess, but <laughs> how, how's Mr. Wright? Hey, all my friends. Hi, Sandy. I'm looking on my tablet. Okay, Denisha. So now I'm torn because I really do like giving my mom credit in the name. And that's what I told her before I even started the channel. Um, I mean, it wasn't going to be Larissa, but, you know, giving her some kind of credit. But she's like, yeah, but I'm going to be on the video. People are going to see my hands. They're going to see my voice. You're going to, you know, I'm going to be part of the channel. And I'm like, I know, but I like it. But now that I'm coming up, I don't know what to do. Hey, Denisha, darling, I'm back. Hi, Sandy. It left as ricochet. Hey, Sherry, welcome back. Something from your heritage or language would be great in your title. Hey, Sherry, Natalie's Family Kitchen. Nah. <laughs> True, it is always whisking time. <laughs> Um, oh, this feels good. It's nice and cool. Feels good. It's not even hot in my place, like, at all, but it feels good. Um, Natalie's Family Kitchen. No, I don't know. See, just nothing, like, really. And who told me, Catherine, was it you? Did you... I like the suggestion of why don't I do an intro video with all with the three name. Well, I don't like Natalie's pantry. So with, with the two names and see how I like it coming back. Now that is another thing. Um, saying welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's kitchen or welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie, Natalie and mom's kitchen. I'll get used to it for sure. Um, I'm cooking with Natalie and Larissa. But I also don't want it to be too long of a name because then I want it to get people's attention. I want people to, people are weird. And we are different in this niche. We, we don't mind. But generally speaking, people like something easy to remember and easy to find. And because it's a very instantaneous um, it, uh, oh, what is the word? What What is the term I'm looking for? Um, something gratifying. Oh my God. I can't think of what I'm thinking. I'm not, I can't figure out what I'm trying to say. Um, mom and me with Natalie. What's wrong with Natalie's kitchen? Is it because they're okay. Leanne, you weren't here before. The reason why I was questioning whether or not to change my um, channel name, one, was because I wasn't coming up on YouTube. But I am now, so that is not the issue. But there are three ways people are going to find me. One is me and you guys sharing the link to my channel directly or a video. Of course, I'm assuming you're going to be sharing it. But sharing links is going to be the primary way people are going to find me. The second way people are going to find me is they're going to be looking up a recipe and or ingredients in a recipe, and hopefully I'll have it. My channel will come up. They will find me. The third way, which is where the issue would be, and I found this out after Krista's live yesterday because I signed into Krista's live as Natalie's Kitchen. Five people who knew me said after Krista's live, because, because YouTube doesn't allow you to click on somebody's name during a live or live replay chat and go to their channel, this is where the issue started with. The five of them ended up trying to search Natalie's kitchen. They found other people that were not me. So they knew to go to Natalie's closet, to go to that video, to go to the link, to go to my channel. But people, the other people in Krista's um, live that don't know me wouldn't necessarily know. Well, they would because Krista kind of made a point of the fact that I have another channel. But if it wasn't Krista, people that don't know me wouldn't necessarily know that I have another channel to go to to find this new channel. And they wouldn't know me to know that the Natalie's Kitchens that come up aren't me. You know what I mean? So word of mouth, which is the other way people are going to find me, unless you explain, go to Natalie's Closet to find the link 
to get to the channel, they wouldn't know that they're not finding me. And so they could be subscribing to anybody's channel. So that's where my issue was. But now I'm coming up on YouTube with Natalie's Kitchen. Still, people may not know that it's me or not me. I mean, obviously, if you say, oh, she has Ukrainian dishes and the other Natalie's closets are, like I said earlier, Italian, Mexican and 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 Thai. Clearly, it's not Ukrainian. So they would know those are the wrong channels. But if there's not something that's going to make me stand out when you tell them who I am, they would ne wouldn't necessarily know which Natalie's closet uh, kitchen is the right one. So that's why I was considering changing the name. Um, instant gratification. Yes, we, this is a very instant gratification. We are very much into instant gratification. Everything has to be now. And if we have to wait more than like five seconds, everybody's like up in arms. You don't, uh, okay, I am one that if somebody's in front of me and they don't actually step on the gas as soon as the light goes green and they just sit there for a second, I'm like, okay, come on, it's green. I am guilty of that. But you're at the drive through at a fast food restaurant and it takes a little bit longer. We're all antsy. This is fast food. Let's go. I mean, it's very much into instant gratification. So people don't like anything that's going to have to take them time to find somebody or something. Um, Natalie's Kitchen was the second name that popped up. My, my Natalie's Kitchen was the second name that popped up or someone else's. Leave a Natalie's Kitchen that then add mom for the video she's in. Very easy to find. Okay, thanks, Denisha. Natalie's Kitchen Closet. <laughs> How am I adding something out of the kitchen, like Natalie's Kitchen Dabblings? Uh, or Natalie's Ukrainian Kitchen. I was thinking about that, Sandy, but it's not all going to be Ukrainian, so that I don't want to necessarily do that. You're overthinking. The more you grow, you'll be at the top of the list. Yes, I agree with that, Kelly, and that's where my other thing was. Do I just say, who cares, and just because I'm going to take over YouTube? <laughs> or worry about it. Oh, got it. It's too fussy a way to get to you. When I look up recipes of journey and click on the first three, if that it, exactly. That's the same thing with me, Leanne. Um, true Kelly, your Natalie's kitchen popped up. Okay, cool. Thank you, Denisha. Um, <laughs> getting off in a second. Um, you know what? I have to laugh about something, then I gotta go. Um, I, th I, I, I'm leaning again. I'm leaning towards keeping the name, but yeah. Hey, Lori, welcome. How are you? I have to laugh at how commercials are stressing contactless delivery, contactless drive-through, contactless whatever. We don't touch your pizza. It goes straight from the oven to the pizza, for example. It goes straight from the oven to the box. It's contactless now. Okay, so what are you saying? You were touching my pizza before? Wasn't it already going from the oven to the box and you just cut it and close it? I didn't realize you were touching my pizza before. But now they're stressing the point that they're not touching your pizza that it's going from the oven to the box without touching it. You're still touching the box. So nothing is actually contactless. So whatever, but I just have to, I had to laugh when I thought about it and I'm like, um, when I first started my channel, I had to scroll down through six or seven pages of channels before mine came up. Yeah. Sandy true. Well now, like I was saying up until early, early, early wee hours of this morning, which was the last time I had checked, I wasn't coming up at all. I had gone through several pages. Um, now I'm coming up. It's Natasha. And for me, it's Natasha and then Laura in the kitchen and then me and then the other Natalie's kitchens. Um, but before I, I wasn't coming. I couldn't find myself at all. Uh, two other people actually went to go check also, and they couldn't find me no matter what they were doing. Um, yes, I thought the same about contactless food. Yeah, I mean, seriously, making a freaking big deal that it's going from the oven to the bed. So you're essentially saying that before you were playing with my food is basically what it sounds like. We were playing with your food before, but now we're not. Now it's going straight from the oven to the bed. And like at Burger King, it's contactless. Well, they show a person going from it wraps, they wrap it in the paper or whatever, and then they put it in the bag, and then somebody has it on a tray and takes it straight to the window. I'm sorry, I've been at Burger King twice. It still went through five different people, and they're all wearing the same gloves as they have been wearing for the last three orders while touching the money and everything else. 
Okay. Seriously, people, just whatever. It is what it is. And uh, on my tablet, it was Natasha first, then you, Laura, was actually under you. Oh, wow. Cool, Denisha. Well, that's nice to know. Okay, well, maybe I'm already making a splash. <laughs> I'm so kidding. I, I'm so kidding. But um, anyway, I have to get going. My mom ordered pizza. And the reason I brought that up was because my mom said she ordered the pizza and they said 45 minutes. He's going to, he's going to ring the doorbell and then leave it at the, at the, on um, at the door or at the threshold contactless. And so I had to laugh because she and I have had this conversation multiple times because every single freaking commercial is contactless. And I'm like, whatever. Okay. Um, Lots of people are thinking you get COVID by hot foods and spread of COVID. People think you get COVID for everything because that's what the media is telling you, that you get it from everything. But I'm not getting into that subject because there's too much of it. And and this is, I, this is not where I want to talk about it. But I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy and that everybody is doing well. And as always, love, hugs, and prayers to everybody. I do have to get going because, well, I mean, pizza is not going to be here for like another 40 minutes, but <clears throat> who knows? Sometimes they come a lot faster. I don't know where she ordered it from, but thank you so much for joining me. I did end up being here for two hours when I said that wasn't going to be that long. Although the first half hour was talking about everything else, but I hope you enjoyed the unboxings. Um, and I can't promise when I'm going to be on again, but I am hoping to get back to my doing at least a couple more regular videos a week. Um, and then right now there's still going to be pop-up lives. I can't schedule anything, but as soon as I can, I will. And I'll have the schedule on my page. Preach. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. Love and prayers all. Have a good rest of the weekend. You too, Kelly. I love you guys dearly. Thank you so much for all of your support and everything. Thank you so much for supporting my other channel. You guys are amazing. I Once I finally make the decision and I'm comfortable with it, I'm going to go ahead and post the hand sanitizer vi um, videos first so that there's something on there. I'm hoping to be able to do the um, bakeless cookies either tonight or tomorrow and then post that on there. And then I'm looking to do one video a week probably on that channel. We'll see how it goes. But I so appreciate you guys supporting that channel and for sharing it if you guys are willing to or if you have already. You guys are amazing. Thank you as thank you as always for supporting. What the hell was that? Thank you for supporting this channel. And so happy to have talked to you all. Yes, I'm so excited that Catherine was able to be here. Um, bye, everyone. Enjoy your all's afternoon. Stay safe. Have a blessed weekend. You too, everybody. Have a blessed weekend. Big hugs. Kelly, you coming on tonight. Bye, Natalie and Miley and Mom Larissa. Uh, great yarn haul, Natalie. Have a great weekend to you and your mom. Love you all. Stay safe and well. You too, Sherry. Yes, I'm so excited that I was able to finally open all the yarn and share it with you guys. I will catch the replay for sure. By yes, Leanne. I'm aw that's awesome. No, I'll be on Sunday night as usual. Big hugs. Yes, big hugs, love, and prayers to everybody. Remember, for every season, there's a reason to crochet. I will see you guys hopefully soon. Sorry for the constant earthquake. I keep moving because I'm just very uncomfortable right now. But hugs, love, and prayer Sunday, right? Okay, well, well, I'll see you then. Yes, see you guys at Kelly's on Sunday, tomorrow night, 8 Eastern, 9, I'm, I'm sorry, 8 Central, 9 Eastern. So I love you guys dearly. Have a great day. Thank you so much for being here and for all the support. If you haven't hit the like button, if you can do so on your way out, that would be awesome too. Yes, she's sleeping cutely behind me. She loves sleeping on pillows when I'm on the bed with her. But um, you guys can see her being all cute and stuff. She says bye, my peeps. She doesn't even realize that she's saying bye to her peeps, but she says bye to her peeps. See you guys soon. I love you guys dearly. Bye. And prayers to everybody. Please stay safe and healthy.